Hi there, Ryan with FlexFireLEDs.com here to show you how to use and set up the RGB amplifier. Uh, we'll start by talking about why you need an RGB amplifier in cases where you are running more than uh, the manufacturer's recommended length of lights in series with strip lights. You need to run an RGB amplifier. Um, prevents voltage drop. It basically amps up the line after it goes through the uh, RGB amplifier for the next segment. So if you want, you know, for color bright, for instance, if you want uh, more than 10 meters or 32 feet or two reels, those are all the same lengths, um, then you're going to need to run an RGB amplifier. And then on one controller, you're going to be able to control um, that entire length of light so that the lights turn on and off um, and change colors and all that all at the same time. So we'll start on the left side of the screen. That's a power supply. That power supply only needs to be able to power the first segment of lights. Um, then you're going to be going into the first con or to the controller, the RGB controller, um, which then hooks up to your first series of lights. Um, for in this in this image here, you're only seeing about a foot and a half being shown, but that would really be like 32 feet. And then we'd run to the uh, RGB amplifier. Use that just to just so we can get it all in one screenshot. We're not out in a big open area. Um, at the end of the first segment of lights, you're, gonna, you're going to um, hook up a solderless connector, uh, so strip to wire, and that's going to get screwed into the terminals on the RGB amplifier on the input side. Make sure that uh, red goes to red and green goes to green, and blue to blue, and power to power, because what's going to happen is the sequence of you know, those colors on the strip might not be the same as that on the RGB amplifier. On that same side of the amplifier, you're going to see a power in, um, a little coax connector, um, female on the RGB amplifier. So the male from the from the uh, power supply can plug in on that side. Um, and then there's also another input on the upper right side, as you look at it in the picture, where I've already screwed in a, um, a female connector. Now watch what happens when I disconnect the amplifier. This segment of lights goes out. Now you have this other terminal here. When I plug that in, the lights go back on. So you have two input options. So if you have that type of power supply or if you have a more hardwired type, you are able to put it in on either side. Uh, and then the output for the RGB strip is another just four terminals that you screw in the uh, wires to and then on to the next segment. Now these these uh, amplifiers can be run as many times as you want. What's happening is the signal from the controller is going down the first line. It gets the amplifier. The amplifier takes the power from the power supply that you're using and plug it into that. It juices up the line and then sends it back down to the next set, um, all while keeping all the lights in sequence. So no more trying to get two RF controllers and hitting a button and the damn thing just, you know, it won't stay stay together and, you know, you're just... It's just a big headache. So these RGB amplifiers are pretty awesome for that, for large installs. Um, if you've got any questions, hit us up. Info at flexfireleds.com. Um, we love getting your questions and, uh, and getting back to you as quick as we can. You can also give us a call, 925-273-9080, and we can answer the questions as best possible. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you on the site soon. Bye-bye.